These are the federal tax brackets. However, they are not what they seem at first glance. You likely do not pay anywhere near your marginal federal tax bracket. Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to On Cashflow, where I help you become a master of your own cash flow. Now let's get started. Here's the caveat. Caveat. Caveat? Here's the thing. <laughs> Your federal income tax bill is not your total tax burden. So in this video, I am only referring to your federal income tax, not your total tax burden. I'm not saying that Americans don't pay a high amount of taxes, total taxes. I'm saying they don't pay a very large amount of federal income tax. Okay, we got that out of the way. There are three basic types of tax that we pay here in the United States. There are taxes on what you earn, there are taxes on what you buy, and there are taxes on what you own. The first one that most people think about when they think of taxes, and that is on what you earn. For example, we have federal income tax, we have state income tax, we have FICA tax, which is social security and Medicare tax. We have self-employment tax, which is double the FICA rate. And then we also have a capital gains tax. And then we also have taxes on stuff that you buy. For example, your sales tax. And then there's also an excise tax. This is usually a tax that is built into the cost of product that you might not even see. Lastly, the third main category is a tax on things that you own. This is the closest thing that we have to a wealth tax. The most common form of taxes on things that you own include property taxes and personal property tax, such as when you go to register your car, your boat, your RV, and things like that. And that's just to name a few of the main ones. Of course, there are probably many other different types of tax that you can name out. Again, I'm not saying that Americans don't pay a lot of taxes. I'm saying that the amount that they pay in federal income tax is probably a lot lower than what you might think. And by the way, are you interested in a lower federal income tax bill? Of course you are. And I have the perfect video for you at the end of this video. All right, let's take another look at those federal income tax rates. So these are the tax brackets for the tax year 2024. And you can see that you get taxed marginally anywhere from 10% all the way up to 37%, depending on your income. If you look at the median income numbers for American households, most people are probably gonna fall anywhere between 12% and 22%. And someone who is unfamiliar with how this works might think that they're paying 12% of their income in taxes, or they might think that they're paying 22% of their income in federal income taxes. However, this is very far from the truth. How much you actually pay in federal income taxes is what's best known as your effective tax rate. This is a much more accurate representation of how much you pay in federal income taxes. And in order to calculate your effective tax rate, you can take a look at your previous tax return on your 1040, and you can look at your total tax bill and divide it by your total income. On the 2022 form, line 24 is total tax, and you can divide it by line nine, which is total income. And that should give you your effective tax rate. Now, just as a quick note, if you look online, many sources will say to actually take your taxable income instead, but that doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense for you to take your taxable income and divide it by your total tax bill because your taxable income is already after your adjustments to income and it's already after your deductions, like your standard deduction or your itemized deduction. So to me, it does not make sense to take your taxable income and divide it by your total tax bill. It makes much more sense to see how much you are paying in taxes based on your total income divided by your total tax bill. Next, let's look at the actual calculation of what your effective tax rate is when it comes to your federal income taxes. But before we move on to that, I just want to say that if you're enjoying this video so far and you appreciate all the research and effort that I put in this video, please make sure you hit the like button on this video because it really does help me out. All right, now let's get into how to calculate your effective tax rates. Here is the tax calculation. First, you're going to want to take your total income and then you're going to want to add or subtract your adjustments to income from your schedule one. After that, you should have what's known as your adjusted gross income. Now, take your adjusted gross income and subtract out your either your standard deduction or the amount of qualified itemized deductions. Then after you do that, you should be left with what's known as your taxable income. Your taxable income is what is used to calculate what your tax bill is going to be. And that gets ran through those federal income tax brackets, but at a marginal rate. So the first X amount of income is taxed at 10%, then the next is taxed at 12%, and then so on and so on. After your taxable income is ran through those federal marginal tax brackets, you should be able to calculate your total tax. And there, you take your total tax bill and divide it by your total income, and that should be your actual effective tax rate. And what you'll find is that is much lower than your marginal tax rate. All this thought about federal income tax got me thinking. How many Americans pay $0 in federal income tax? Well, according to the most recent data that I could find, it's estimated that about 40% of Americans pay $0 in federal income taxes. Why, you might ask? 
Well, the most likely reason is that they have a very low amount of income. And most likely their tax bill ends up being zero because the standard deduction plus any kind of tax credit that they might qualify for. And many lower to middle income Americans qualify for tax credits. For example, some of the most common ones that might erase your tax bill include the child tax credit, the earned income tax credit, some kind of educational tax credit, or the other dependents credit. Because of the standard deduction and those tax credits, many lower to middle income Americans pay $0 or very, very little in federal income tax. And in case you're wondering, yes, there is a very small amount of high earners that end up paying $0 in federal income tax just because their income is structured in a way to where they generate $0 of taxable income. And now that you know that about four out of 10 Americans don't pay any in federal income tax, I bet you're curious to know what the average federal income tax bill is. And we're gonna go over that next. But really quick, this leads me to the big question. I wanna know from you in the comments below. What do you think about the current state of federal income taxes? Do you think that taxes are too high? Do you think they're too low? Do you think they're just right? Do you think they're too complicated? Or do you think something else? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say. And now I think for the most fun part, let's take a look at the average amount of federal income taxes paid. Keep in mind that our federal income tax is a progressive system, which means that the higher income that you have, the more taxes that you are gonna pay in federal income tax, as clearly illustrated by the data of taxes paid. Now the average tax rate is 13.6%. However, keep in mind that the average is referred to as the mean, which is the sum of all divided by the number. So this 13.6% is skewed by what's known as outliers, people who pay a very large amount of income tax and people who pay $0 in income tax. I think that this is a better average to look at. So the bottom 50% of taxpayers paid a 3.1% tax rate. The top 50% paid a 14.8% tax rate, and only the top 10% pay 20% or more of their income in federal income tax. So to put that into more perspective, half of Americans and less pay 3.1% of their income in federal income taxes or less. And I'd be willing to bet that you probably want to be on that bottom 50%, right, of paying 3.1% or less of your income in federal income taxes. And if you want to learn how to do that, then you need to watch this other video that I created that shows you how to pay $0 of federal income tax. Okay, that video is going to be in the pinned comment below in the description, and it'll pop up right here on the screen right after I get off the screen. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Zach from OnCashflow.com, and I hope to see you next time. And I have the perfect root. I want, thought me think, all this talk about federal income, all this, because there are, because me.